After enjoying a few days of furlough, those who chose to spend their Holy Week break outside of Metro Manila now face the annual predicament, the dreadful journey back to the urban jungle. With some already choosing to make that tedious but necessary trip throughout the day, terminals like the PITX is starting to swell with passengers while many more are expected to follow suit. Su Jin Kim updates us on the situation at the PITX Live. Good evening, Su Jin. William, the PITX was expecting to reach a passenger count of no less than 130,000 as people who traveled to Manila or to the provinces go back just in time for the regular working days. William, as of 9 p.m., the PITX reached the 145,000 passenger mark, which surpassed initial expectations. Lovely, who sells Baguio-grown fruits and vegetables at the PITX, says even with the culmination of Holy Week, vendors like her are still geared up for the inflow of passengers slash potential customers. Do bugso po ang dami ng tao pag umaga medyo konte pag paggabi na po na dami na po pag pauwi kasi po sila na mimili sila ng mga gulay mga prutas na pasalubong nila sa kanika nilang bahay. Like Lovely, Sandy is also prepared to extend working hours and shifts together with her staff. This is to accommodate travelers who chose to leave at night rather than during the day. Ang uh, kadalasan po, uh, nag-open kami 7, nag-cruise kami ng 8, pero ngayon po siguro mahanggang 10 p.m. kami para at least yung mga late na mga pasayero. Sandy, who's been peddling Tagalog home-cooked meals since 2021, serves no less than 30 kinds of dishes to at least 500 people each day. During peak season like today, however, she expects to reach the thousand range. Nagdagdag po kami ng mga lutong bahay na ulam para kung sakaling marami pang dumating na mga pasahero. While there were passengers yesterday, Easter Sunday, Historically, foot traffic reaches its peak on the Monday after the long weekend. So na expect natin ng mataas pa rin yung foot traffic. Uh, may ngilan-ngilan pa rin yan ng Wednesday, Tuesday, pero sa Thursday na expect natin na medyo magbabalik na sa normal. This as passengers feel more at ease with the idea of traveling to different regions during holidays and long weekends. As compared to last year, no, mas malaki talaga yung bilang ng mga pasahero natin ngayon kasi last year Alam naman natin, nasa tail end pa tayo ng pandemya, may mga restrictions, may agam-agam pa yung mga kababayan natin. Pero ngayon, totally wala na. With the steady increase of passengers at the terminals, the PITX maintains tight security measures and medical assistance availability at all times. There is an ambulance by the main entrance of the PITX and a clinic that's open 24-7 in case of accidents or injuries. The PITX is relieved and happy to announce of a zero incident thus far. So far, so good. Wala naman tayo nakitang malaking problema. Uh, nagkaroon lang na mga konting pagpila during the peak days. The Holy Week exodus of passengers was facilitated in a manner that guaranteed peace and security within the terminals. This was due to proper anticipation, planning, and execution by the PITX management. With this, they leave a gentle reminder for all to keep the peace as well as patience. Alam naman natin, nakapagpahinga na kayo. Expect a lot of traffic, no? Kasi sabay-sabay na magbabalikan niya, magbaon tayo ng konting pasensya. Kasi alam naman natin na back to reality na tayong lahat. William, the PITX assures the public that they've been thorough with the regular checking and monitoring of the drivers' fitness to drive, drug testing, as well as the vehicles' roadworthiness. This was done with the help of the Land Transportation Office, as well as the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board. William? Uh, yes, uh, Su Jin. Um, for those who are set to travel back, can you remind us again on uh, what security prohibits uh, in the terminals? Yes, William, actually the Department of Transportation prohibits certain items inside bus depots. As a reminder, these would include uh, objects that are pointed or sharp or bladed weapons. We also have flammable or poisonous liquids and gases such as organic peroxide. And we also have the usual, which are guns or any kinds of weapons and bullets. William? Yes, uh, thank you, Su Jin Kim, reporting live from the PITX.